on today's video we're gonna set up the Blu-ray 3D player with built-in Wi-Fi LG BP540 so here it is now first things first your controller make sure to put in the battery if this one's not working the one that came with you should put in another fresh one you know that it works for sure once you have that ready, I'm just going to plug this in. Okay, something that doesn't come with your Blu-ray player are your HDMI cables. So you have to plug these in in the back. Uh, don't worry about it. You can get these at the dollar store. They're just as good as the really expensive ones. So here's your HDMI. What we do is plug it in. Once it's nice and tight, plug it into your TV. Now something that you have to make sure, once you turn on your TV, connect it your cable, go into source and you're going to look for your HDMI. So just click on that and you're going to turn on your DVD, your Blu-ray player. So just with your controller, press that, your DVD, your Blu-ray player should say hello. You will see that on your screen. Next, we're gonna be setting this up. So we're gonna choose English. Just it. so, just to choose, you just press the Enter key on your control. So here's my Enter. So just click on Enter, and you can move around with these. Okay. So we're gonna go back to that. So once again, we're just gonna go to Start. Now on your screen right now, you're not gonna see these lines that you see on this recording. Uh, those lines are just from the camera when you record something off the TV with your video camera you will see these lines but that's in the recording. On your actual TV you won't see all these lines that you see right now. Um, now you have to choose your Wi-Fi okay so there's two right here. Mine's actually a hidden one so I'm gonna go to advanced settings. Mine's wireless. All I have to put in is the name. And you choose the type. And then we will connect them. So everything from here, you don't have to do anything unless you have a special setup. But we'll just go next. So that's my network name. Um, so didn't show you guys. I couldn't show you guys the password obviously, but you have to put in the password and everything. All you have to do is click next. Remember to click next and enter. It's the same thing on your controller, just keep clicking here on enter, okay? So we're just gonna do that. So everything seems to be working, so we just go finish. Um, okay, I'm gonna show you uh, later on in this video in the end how to control with your app from your App Store, okay? We're gonna show you an iPhone and later on Android. So we're just gonna close that up for now. Okay, so this is what we're gonna see. Uh, Smart Share Premium LG Smart World and my apps. Okay, on videos, if you go down, if you scroll down just using the arrows. Okay, this is the part where you would go if you have a USB stick and you plug it in to your LG, you can go there. Same thing goes for photos, music, okay? Uh, Smart Share, if you click on that, same thing. You will not get anything unless you have something connected, okay? Um, for Premium, there's where you have all your stuff, such as YouTube and uh, Everybody wants Netflix. Okay, so we're gonna get into that setting right now, actually. Okay, so there's something wrong with the network according to this. We're just gonna go into settings and we're gonna start. Now, on yours, it could say that, it could not. It depends on your. 
in your settings. Now this part I am going to show you guys this time, since it's a different one. I will skip over the part where it says uh, for the password, since you guys don't need that. Okay, I'm going to choose none, but you guys do have a password. I just turned it off for now. Okay, and we just click on next. Okay guys, so here's our network, okay, there's our language, audio display, now you can choose from any of these, doesn't really matter, we're just going to go back on it. To go back, it's all in your control, so on your control you will see this right here, let me just focus the camera on that, so here's your back, so you just click on the back, okay. Okay, if it gives you problems like it was, um, just turn it off and turn it back on, your LG, so just press the power button, press it again, and it should initialize and connect to your Wi-Fi network automatically. If it doesn't, then there's a problem with it. Um, it's not that normal, but it is kind of normal, 50% uh, of these things you have to turn them off, turn them on, once you have that set up, and then you can actually connect to them. So we're gonna go into Netflix like we said we would. So this is what you should see once you go into Netflix, okay? So you just scroll down and then uh, go to agree. Okay, this will only happen once again, once we're doing the setup, once we're done doing the setup, you will not see this again. And from here you just take it on, you can sign up for your free month, or you can just sign in. In this case, we're just going to sign in. Okay, so you put in your email address. And that's how you sign in to your Netflix. Now once you're signing into Netflix, you can choose the profiles. So you know how you have different profiles for everybody in your house that uses Netflix? Well, this gives you that choice. Um, not all smart TVs have to say, I uh, will give you a choice to sign into your different profiles, but this one does. Um, there's the Samsung, this, uh, this TV actually is a smart TV, and uh, this one doesn't let you sign into different profiles. It just goes directly into the first one. So, that's the good thing about this LG uh, Blu-ray player. It lets you select what profile you want to go into. So that's a good thing, very good thing. We're just gonna go back on it and we're gonna go back to home. So we're gonna press home on our controller. Okay, so that's it for your main setup. Um, I'm just gonna show you some features about it and that's that's it. But that's it for this, this main setup. Um, all the apps that you wanna click on, they all have some updates to it. Um, well, I shouldn't say all of them. Uh, there's the LG one that doesn't need update. But there's always updates, usually for YouTube, Netflix, and uh, other ones. You can also download um, different apps for it, for this LG, such as Crackle. I know a lot of people watch Crackle TV, they usually have uh, older episodes on Crackle TV, but um, it's worth it to have if you don't have Netflix. Also, if you're tired of Netflix, you just go into Crackle and see other movies. They don't have the exact same ones as Netflix, uh, they usually have older ones, and um, sometimes they have really good movies on Crackle TV. Uh, you do get advertisements on Crackle, so that's just a tip there. Um, once this is done downloading, I will show you how to download some apps onto your LG. Uh, before doing that, you can actually do it straight from your LG TV. You can create an account if you have, if you have one already, you're good to go. Or you can just uh, do it from your computer and create an account, and that way you don't have to do it from your um, Blu-ray player right here. So we're gonna look into that once this is done. Ok, 
Okay, so your LG, once it's done updating uh, some of its apps, it might restart now. Um, once again, it's one of those things that LG hasn't perfected. It doesn't really restart. It just turns off and you'll have to turn it back on yourself. Okay, so there's our YouTube, finally loaded up, it took kind of forever, but that's your main setup in the start, it will take a little bit forever, so just so you guys see, I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna load different stuff up so you can see how slow it is on loading up, so don't be too excited. Okay, once again, you're just using um, just the arrows to move around and select your videos. If you scroll through these, it's pretty slow, but that's what you get with these things. So we're just going to go back on it. And now we're going to show you how to sign up for your LG Smart World. So just go into it. And from here we're going to download the apps that we want, such as Crackle TV that I mentioned before. So Crackle should be right up there, uh, it's one of those most downloaded apps. And we're gonna look into it right now, so we're just gonna click start on it. We're gonna click on install. And here's where you can register, or if you're already registered, just type in your ID and password. Um, in this case, we're going to register, so you just press the R to register. So that's actually on your controller. You will see the R right here. So this R right here. So just press that R, and you're going to get into registration. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole registration since that's extremely boring. Um, but, you know, you need a valid email and uh, your basics to create this. So once you created everything and you went to your email to verify your creation of your sign-in, then uh, you can just go ahead and install any apps that you want. You do have a limited space, however, you're not going to download every single app here. Uh, once we're done that, we just click on OK and you see any other ones that you may want to download. For now, that's all we're going to download from here. If you want to go to that app that we just downloaded, Crackle, just go into my apps, there's Crackle, and go into it. Now there's also something you can sign in for in Crackle, um, and at the same time, you can just view things without signing in, so don't worry about that too much. And uh, that's your basic thing for downloading apps, we cover that. If you want to plug in any USB sticks, just plug them in. They'll Easiest way for any uh, thing to work, so we to format any videos as MP4. That's really universal, so most uh, DVD and uh, Blu-ray players that read USB sticks will work uh, with any videos that are MP4. So make sure to make them MP4s. Here's Crackle. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments about this Blu-ray player, please let me know. And uh, the last thing that I will mention is how to insert your Blu-ray um, movies on it. Since most of you, that's why you bought it for. So from your controller, all you have to click is on eject. That will open this up. You put in your Blu-ray player DVD right there. Okay, so just put in your Blu-ray in there. You just close it up. And then you just press play. Automatically, it will show you what's in there. Okay? So you'll play your movie, and that's about it. That's it for this tutorial, guys. Once again, please uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and any questions, comments, errors about this player or anything to do with technology, please write it here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.